So hi dear Scorpio, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a monthly reading for all the Scorpio Sun Moon Venus rising from today from 1st till the 15th of September 2024. I'm going to tap into your recent past, current energies and near future and we will see the guidance as usual starting with the overall energies for this particular 15 days of September 2024. Okay and um, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link sorry is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my master class again the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life trust me on that i'm doing it from a very very long time now and if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same so let's start okay scorpio Overall energy for Scorp Scorpio people for the first 15 days of September 2024 is, let's see what, what we have. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you are going to be in this energy of putting in the effort and energy from your side in something that you feel is truly meant for you, something that you feel is good for you, okay? Creating something step by step and with a lot of energy, with a lot of enthusiasm, with a lot of hard work, okay? creating your own stability creating your own life okay that's really cool okay let's see in the recent past what was happening where were you seven of cups there was a lot of confusion uh, regarding you there was a lot of emotional confusion regarding uh, like certain things in your life you were not able to understand whether you should go in a particular direction or you should choose a different direction or you should you should go ahead in this direction or that direction or something like that there was a lot of confusion okay emotional confusion now in the current situation eight of wands either you are trying to travel somewhere or go somewhere reach somewhere or you are in this energy of having a lot of communication back and forth communication and sort it out with something sort it out with somebody trying to sorting it out some with something or someone it's like that by the 15th of september we have the ten of pentacles a lot of stability a lot of open abundance and prosperity happy family kind of a dynamic let's cl clarify these cards one by one Let's clarify the seven of cups in the recent past for you guys, honey, Scorpio. Let's see what was happening there. We have the page of wands, page of cups, eight of wands. You started something new. There were lots of choices, lots of, uh, uh, you know, multiple options, multiple choices, multiple ways to go in a go in a particular direction and you were kind of in this energy of talking to might be multiple people at the same time or doing a lot of things at the same time restarting restarting uh, something with fresh energies or starting new energies new connection new friendships whatever the case may be you started something new in the recent past or you tried to start something new in the recent past and the more you were trying to make sense of it the more it was confusing the hell out of you it was like a lot of confusion a lot of this energy of i need to sort it out i need to sort it out i need to do something about it but the more you were trying to fix something the more it was getting difficult for you to fix it okay now in the current scenario we have the eight of wands let's clarify the eight of wands here We have, okay, we have the king of pentacles, the eight of swords, the knight of pentacles. It's like um, <laughs> you have an idea about your future. You have an idea that I should go do this thing in order to create a stable base for myself, in order to create a stable base for my uh, future direction, future, for the future direction of my life. But you're too much in your head about things. You're not able to go beyond a certain uh, obstacle or challenge, right? You have created some kind of obstacle or challenge in your mind. And the more you are into this energy of, no, I have to get over this. I have to get over this. The more you are feeling stuck in a situation. You're trying to sort it out, by the way, with all of your heart and soul. But you're not getting the way to sort it out. The more you are trying to sort it out, the more it's getting uh, difficult for you to sort it out. And it's kind of keeping you stuck in some way, shape or form. I don't know what this is. It could be a relationship, it could be a, 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 like a job, work, a connection with somebody or it could be a business deal. But whatever it is, you're trying to sort it out with communication or you're trying to travel towards a particular situation. But there is something in between that you're not able to overcome and you're feeling stuck. Now, by the 15th of September, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Seven of Swords, the Temperance, and the Lovers. Hmm. Interesting. 
see the thing is here scorpio that you know something is not something or someone is not good for you is not meant for you or something or someone who uh, who showed you so many times that i'm not for you i'm not meant for you i'm not good for you again it could be a work situation it could be a love relationship area it could be any kind of uh, situation but still you are daydreaming about having some kind of happily ever after kind of a deal with somebody that you know is not good for you or is not right for you for some of you you are sneaking away from a uh, from a uh, marriage com marriage commitment or long term partnership or slowly but surely towards somebody else or something else you're sneaking away or you're trying to sneak away from a committed situation from a commitment from a relationship from a uh, business deal sneaking away trying to you know slowly but surely towards something new or someone new take it how it resonates with you but there is an energy of sneaking away from something or someone that you know is not good whether it's a uh, like a commitment relationship marriage or whether it's something that you think is not right for you anymore but you are in this energy of having some kind of illusion delusion about something and trying to go in that direction and it's kind of you know it's not good you know it's not uh, you should not uh, be doing like uh, uh, doing like this but you're doing it anyway i don't know why slowly but surely you are sneaking away walking away uh, getting out of a situation that's kind of looking very stable looking very committed but you are in this energy of no i have to walk away i have to move on towards something that i can't resist something that is kind of attracting me in their direction and i can't resist it because this is something that i just feel like is right for me and you know it's not right for you i don't know so sneaking away towards something that is kind of attracting you at this present moment but at the same time you know you should not be doing that but you're doing it anyway i don't know what you're doing now you know it so try to solve it with the mature energy grounded energy with a courageous kind of energy rather than sneaking away and uh, running away from the situation and leaving something or someone in the blues okay don't do that don't do that okay let's see the guidance for you guys honey scorpio i just told you <laughs> but anyway let's see this 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 thing is going down again and again and it's kind of pissing me off yeah you have certain kind of trauma you have not trauma trauma is a huge word you have certain kind of fears when it comes to you know love and relationship area so you are you are now in this energy of okay letting go of something or someone getting out of a situation without communicating properly without giving the proper reason without uh, giving the proper answers is okay because uh, people do that it's normal you're normalizing something that is not normal and you're giving it is uh, giving it the name of okay people do people did that with me so i can do it with other people as well it's normal it's the way life goes on it's the way the, the circle of life goes on no don't normalize something that you know is not good that you know you as a pure soul scorpio should be doing the right thing and the right thing here is to talk it out to connect with the person to connect with the person and tell them that this is the truth and this is how my feeling and this is how i feel like i should uh, uh, go ahead in my life okay even if you're going to fail even if you're going to be miserable in that direction in that new direction that you're you're choosing over something or someone it's completely fine it's your choice it's your life right but don't do something that you know is not good for you as a person as a soul and the other energies that are involved in the situation don't do that do that okay because it's going to come back around uh, towards you in some way shape or form and then you're going to realize that oh my god i should have handled the situation differently and now it's a disaster or something it's like guilt or guilt and regret and nothing else so hope it's making sense to you honey yeah so thank you so much for tuning in scorpio i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste